I think the Michigan win needs to be talked about individually for a reason. Because at least in this regard, I think it was Harbaugh's biggest victory as the head coach at Michigan. And you'll go, well, how is that possible? Wisconsin's not ranked. And I, and I told you last week, I don't care about the rank thing. This game represented a lot. A, you hadn't been on the road yet. B, you hadn't won at Wisconsin in 20 years. And C, come hell or high water, you were an underdog and you hadn't won as one. All three of those narratives go bye-bye. Now you can say, oh, well, it's one win. Fine, but you got to start somewhere. Think of it this way. If Harbaugh didn't win this game, what's the vibe? Oh, I think you know. They went up there, and whether Wisconsin is the Cincinnati Bengals or whether Wisconsin's the Akron Zips, they imposed their will on that team. They broke them. They hit Graham Mertz and whoever was under center so much that they ended them. The defense was aggressive. The defense whipped Wisconsin's offensive line. And look, are there things I don't like about Michigan? Of course. This is the part of the program where it's multiple things can be true. I can say it's a great win. I can say they're a top 10 team. Newsflash, there's like seven undefeated teams in America. Michigan and Michigan State are two of them. 17. Right. So, like, you got you got to be ranked somewhere. And Michigan hasn't lost. Those are facts. All these other teams didn't play some kind of incredible schedule, but they've still lost a game. Michigan hasn't. Just like Michigan State hasn't. Now, my concern is the following. This is two Big Ten games. And you're not averaging three yards a carry. That's a problem. When you want to run the ball the way you want to run it, that's a problem. And the other issue is this. I think some of you are being fooled by a light show. And what I mean is this. Acting as if the passing game is fixed. That's a problem. And I'll tell you why, and I have numbers to back this up. A, what you do in garbage time. Like, for instance... J.J. McSizzle comes in and throws a 60-yard touchdown. It's not real. Game's over. It's it's just not relevant. Now, Cade had one play that really mattered. Flea flicker, well executed, well done. Hit Cornelius Johnson, yes. The rest of the game, he was bad. You can call it whatever you like. Throws her behind guys, throws lack pace, throws her inaccurate, throws her short. Mike, that's a good point because especially if you're going to talk about J.J.'s touchdown late and trumpet that, then you can't get angry when the third-string QB comes in and throws a pick and says, well, that doesn't count right. because well, he was in the right. game. So I, my level of concern, for, for I got some concern for both teams. Oh, I have plenty of concern for Michigan State. I was just leading with U of M. For Michigan, don't create something that's not there, but I have a feeling they're going to do that. Oh, the quarterback carousel? K, K. McNamara hasn't done anything to lose his job. Yeah, but he's not you may, doing okay, anything to win you, it. You may not like him, but maybe safe is what Michigan needs. Then just play him and be done with it. And that's what I'm saying. Maybe lean on your defense, lean on your running game. Son, don't turn the ball Listen, over. This that's is, a winning combination. And guess what? Let me add to this. This is Harbaugh's best coach team. They don't make mistakes. Exactly. They don't take penalties. They don't turn the ball over. They're good in special teams. They do it right. Now, if you are in college and you don't make mistakes, you're going to be a tough out. Most teams are undisciplined. So I'm with Rico on this. And you guys, look, we can throw the number out, 248-539-9797. It's very simple. If the design of this is to punt, play defense, control T.O.P., wear opponents out, win the exchanges, that's fine. Just play the one QB. But if you want to have an upside here, it is clear as day. They believe J.J. McCarthy has upside, massive upside, right? What I don't like is now, in a game at Wisconsin, open the second half, J.J. McCarthy in for a handoff and a running play, and then on third down... You swap out the QB. Change the QB. Or inverse. I'm in a goal-to-go situation. Now I'm putting in a new QB to run a QB sneak. Look, 
pick a QB and go with it. Michigan is able to win a lot of games with their defense. They're able to win a lot of games because they don't make mistakes. But it is clear you lack a passing game. I mean, here, if you don't believe me, let me give you a number. And I want to pull this up. I read this on ESPN, and I grabbed a quick snapshot. For those of you who say, well, our passing game's fine. No, it's not. So this is from Adam Rittenberg. You tell me what you want to do with it. Filtering out garbage time. Michigan's passing success rate on downs, second and seven or more, third and five or more. You know what it is? 22%. That ranks 120th in FBS. So listen, you're doing a lot of things right. And I think the biggest thing that this team has going for them is A, discipline, and B, belief. I think there's a belief about it that they haven't had in a couple of years, right? They play together. I think there's a vibe about it. They don't seem like they're going to fold like a cheap suit. And they play discipline. Harbaugh deserves all kinds of credit for that. But if we're talking about Michigan winning real things, real stuff, getting to Indy, how do we beat Ohio State, etc., this passing game, strip away the light show stuff, and let's look at the actuality of it. Passing game's got to be better. And I need to see this running game snap back because three yards of carry is not going to get it done. But see, here's the thing. If your passing game gets better, your running game gets better. Because right now, right. if I'm playing Michigan, I'm loading the box. I dare you to beat me on the outside. I dare you to Teams beat me deep. sit on it. And, and that's what you're saying. Yep. I, I'm going to stop your strength. But you're still 5-0. and oh. It's a cliche because it's true. If you have two quarterbacks, you don't have any. Well, I just, if I you don't start understand. rolling him out there and – you're going to play the first two downs, and you're going to play the last down. You're destroying something well, that you Well, and they built. showed, and I don't want to make this into something it's not, but look, we watch the games, and we do see it. Cade McNamara looked disgusted. When they came out of the half, they panned to him, and it looked like he had just smelled a fart. You and then it was because McCarthy was coming. Yeah, in. because in his mind, I haven't done anything to right, be Right, we're ahead at the half. I haven't made any mistakes, although a couple of bad throws. Right, I have I no just, picks. We right. got five wins. I'm sorry, Coach, what am I doing wrong here? Because right. I thought the goal was to win games. So let me let me get at least the number out, okay? 248-539-9797. I think it's a huge win for Harbaugh. I think it was a must-have. It, it might be his biggest win because the cost of not winning that game would have been brutal. I think people would have lit the building on fire. So it's a massive win. And I do think they have the foundation of a team that can be very, very good, but they need to get a lot better in, in a very specific portion of the game. And maybe Rico's right. If the passing game actually gets where it needs to go, and I gave you the metric here, second and seven, third and five or more, you're one of the worst teams in America passing the ball, guys. It's got to get better because the opponents are going to get better. Here's the irony. All you have to do is be Wisconsin in previous years. Don't just show that you can pass the ball right. on a play action or whatever. Connect with your tight end. Connect with all. Connect with your receivers. And then you can just run the ball down people's throats. But you have to show we can do this. And I'd love to know the Michigan fan base thoughts on the quarterback shuffle thing. And Harbaugh said it this morning uh, with Jansen. They've got plays for J.J. You're going to see J.J. I, I, I'll be honest. Yeah, I saw that coming. Yeah, but this is what the preseason was for. You could have been doing all of this in the preseason. And now when I go to Nebraska at night or I go to Penn State, I, I don't want to be uh, shuffling around a little. Yeah, and please, because... spare, please do me this solid. Do not bring up a unicorn situation like Chris Leak and Tim Tebow. Okay, A, it was 15 years ago, and B... That's really just a 99.9 percentile situation that you just, you don't do that. I think if, if you play discipline the way you do, you're going to be able to win. Clearly, we thought they were going to be a 7-5 and five team to start the year. I think anything less than 9 is now no bueno for Michigan State, which we're going to get to momentarily. Clearly, 6-6 six and six is not acceptable. Michigan State needs to get to 8 or more. Uh, but the Michigan thing, it starts with a win like that. It starts with going to Wisconsin and getting a win that in previous years you were not able to do. Mm -hmm. So, no, I'm not turning it into Noah's Ark 
or one of the, the great miracles. I'm just saying that's a hell of a job by Harbaugh to get it because we've sat here in these chairs and people have sat on their couches and we have ripped his ass sideways for not winning that game. You got to give him some props for doing it. It doesn't mean we're putting a statue up. No, I guess but I, it, it absolutely was a big win may, for maybe them. Maybe his second biggest win. I still think that Notre Dame game two years ago at home when Notre Dame was ranked in the rain. I think that was his biggest win because they were ranked. But I think this, yeah, this is his biggest road win. My only concern, you may be setting yourself up to fail. You have something that can win. Wisconsin has proven you can run the ball, just have a safe quarterback, Lean on your defense, you win games. You start throwing J.J. in the mix because he's a better runner. And all. Well, you should have did but this at JJ, the beginning. This is what I don't understand. If J.J.'s the better runner, okay, automatically that can help my running, which is the most important thing I do. If he's the better runner and he's clearly got a better arm, clearly. I mean, it's just, and I'm not knocking Cade, but it's, it's night and day. It's the difference between Kirk Cousins and Matt Stafford. If that upside is there, why didn't they nurture it earlier? I, I, that is what I can't figure out because to me, if I'm a Michigan fan, here's what I'm doing. We're not beating Ohio State with Cade McNamara. We're not beating Michigan State with Cade McNamara. We're not. Make the move. Play the play the kid and understand. <laughs> no, no, hold on. Listen to me. No, no, no. no. I, it, I got something for that. It's, but go their, ahead. it's their most disciplined team. They're razor sharp. They're good in all three. They, they take care of the ball. I can shepherd JJ. Right. I can. But, but Rico, what I don't it's like my, the carousel. It's, here's the thing. It may be too late for that. Because if you make the switch, I don't think he has enough games under his belt that in three weeks he can walk into Spartan Stadium. Or in, a, you know, what, seven more weeks or eight more weeks he can go and play against the Buckeyes and mm -hmm. be ready once again. If you came out to shoot with him, and this was now his sixth game under center. That's my point. Maybe he's ready. If you make the change right now. Look, that's their season, they have a right now. Okay, I choose not to dream or do any of that stuff until a little deeper into the season. Right. But if Michigan fan wants to start thinking about, okay, what are the pathways to Indy? Who do we need to root for? What do we got to do? Can we do this? Look, there's a limited amount of undefeated teams. And whether you're a Spartan or Wolverine, your team's undefeated. I'm not interested in, in, in this, the, the bickering and the, the putting a matrix up there like we're solving a mafia crime about what opponent is better. Neither of our teams have really played much of anybody, but they're doing their job. And Michigan was emphatic in doing their Saturday. But I, I want to know where you're at with this QB carousel thing and where you're at with your team. All of a sudden, do you believe you have a chance to win the Big Ten or not? I mean, that, that's what it boils down to.